For this round one challenge, I want to get away from fine dining. We're going to hit the streets, find some street meat on a stick. Yes, I'm talking about satay. Wow. And your time starts now. For the challenge, I really want to keep it Asian traditional, so I'm going to do a Thai cucumber salad and a pork satay, maybe with a yellow curry sauce. I take my pork, I put it in the bowl, and I really want to add some really good spicy flavor. So I add my cilantro, I add my Fresno chili, I add some lemongrass. It's gonna be delicious. I'm doing a chicken and piggy satay. Start with a pineapple slaw and uh, peanut butter and coconut sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit of Chinese spice spice, smoked paprika, a little bit of lemongrass, a little bit of ginger. The difference between a good satay and a poor satay is the uh, marination. Pork shoulder is pretty tough. You have to cook it, brace it, just break it down. So I decided to slice it pork thinly and grill it first. And I'm going to wrap it in bacon just to add flavor and some moisture. Wow, look how much bacon he put on there. It's never going to cook. I really like spicy flavors, but I also like a little sweetness to go with it. So instead of the regular skewer, I do sugarcane skewers, but it does not stick to my sugarcane. What shape of the satay do you want? I'm trying to go for like an oval shape. The pork just isn't staying on the skewer. I'm so stressed out. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Step away from the plates. Chef Olivia, you really captured the essence of this challenge today. This is a perfect example of a satay. The satay themselves were cooked perfectly. They had beautiful grill marks on them, and the flavors married very well with the curry dipping sauce. The only critique I would have about this dish is that pickled salad that you had on the side, it would have been nicer to have a little bit more herbs, uh, less vinegar, and um, more, you know, of the like refreshing nature of the vegetables. Chef Jason, I thought you cooked the chicken very well. It had great caramelization on it, and it was um, juicy inside. And I like the direction that you're going with pairing it with a peanut sauce. It goes very well with a satay. I think it's a very classic combination. The pork was um, very dry because you cooked it so many times. Cooking it first, then wrapping in the bacon, and then cooking it again, and then deep frying it. Dried it out. The winner is Chef Olivia. Woo! A lot of people underestimate kids. We have all the tools to go up against an adult chef. Are great chefs born or made? Are you kidding me? His reputation is on the line. I gotta do what I gotta do. Cooking makes me feel like I can do anything.